because even the slightest disagreement <clears throat> turned venomous and the things that we share in, in private like that will hurt one another it happened in public a lot um and it, it was countless instances where people were like hey dude you shouldn't let her talk to you like that or like you need to stand up for yourself and i'm just like hey man this you know she had a bad day she had a rough day at work or xyz or you know i said something i shouldn't have said um they were like but at the end of the day you never really ever tried to hurt her or embarrass her but like when she say certain things to you um she going for the juggler and like as a man like you got to be able to not be come back and be aggressive or be abusive but hey don't talk to me like that and i, I never felt like i could do that I never really ever had the words to be able to speak into that to stop those those behaviors. So let's pause here because I think that's a very important thing. Um, clearly, you've described a number of incidents that occurred between the two of you personally in private and also in public with your loved ones, with your friends. Um, Tell me what was going on with you where, one, you felt like in the space of that you had no words to speak to her to defend yourself or to even try to create the environment between the two of you where you can have a healthy exchange instead of one where, where I'll use your word, where it was venomous, right? Um, right? And two, tell me also what it felt like to have, have to defend her all the time to your friends and loved ones when they saw you um, being treated um, poorly by her. Well, I, I'll start with, with the, the first question and try to unpack it. And, and if I missed the mark, you know, come back and tell me. But of course, I, but for me, um, and this is not a knock against my parents, I never saw them argue. I never saw them disagree. Um, if it was a disagreement, like it was like, hey, Jason, go to your room. And like they had that conversation. And back in, you know, in the 80s and 90s, when your parents told you to do something, it ain't no conversation where, it, you know, well, why? Like, snah. It was like, you go to your room and you go to your room and you know, you're know you not trying to hear what's going on. Um, so I never really saw, and again, not a knock on them because they did what worked for them, but I never saw healthy disagreements. I never saw healthy arguments. So the only things I saw was on TV where you know people are fussing and at times cussing and flipping stuff over. Um, and no, like, and even in our arguments with, we never get, did things like that where we flip, but there were shouting matches. There were, um, things where things were said on both, both sides that, you know, I'm not proud of. And I'm, I'm certainly sure that now looking back, she's not proud of. Um, so we, I, I never had that healthy filter. Um, what, even though my parents were a great role model, what marriage looked like, it was even in that some things that I wish I would have saw. Um, I wish I would have known how to to do that because um, I think this may come to your second part of your question. When those moments did happen, when I was there. My mother, and again, my, I don't believe my parents were in a domestic or a physically abusive relationship, but she knew how to navigate that space where she wasn't combative, and vice versa. My father knew how to get his point across without being aggressive to my mom. Like if it was something they wanted to do, somebody disagreed. Either they told me go to the room or the conversation was, okay, we're going to do it like this because this, and it, it just happened um, on both sides. So I never saw where if a decision was made that was contrary to how someone felt, how that that thing kind of un unwrapped itself. Um, now, I think to the latter part of your question, like how did it make me feel uh, having to constantly defend her um, in front of my, to my friends or family, um, it, it was extremely embarrassing. Um, because I didn't want them. One thing my parents always told me to, if y'all disagree, you keep that between y'all because you'll forgive, but the street won't. So when they see her, they'll always keep reminding, Hey, remember when you did that? So whether that's always being as forthcoming, I always created, um, uh, what well, I guess for lack of a better word, like a storyline that painted this is like, this happened because this happened with her um, and never really talked about <clears throat> the conversations or what really led to those disagreements uh, or those verbal um, onslaughts. Um, 
So I it and it was draining. It it was it was it was really draining because like I never could really be who I was unapologetically. Because naturally I'm I'm a goofy dude, you know. I love wrestling, you know, I know it's not real, but I loved I love that. I love I love being the life of the party. But like if I did something to her that was corny to her, like she would clown me and not in a place where it's like, ha, ha. it was like, yo, you, you low key stupid. Um, and people are seeing that and they like, no, nah, that's not okay. But I'm like, you know, rough day at work or, you know, I sh- maybe I shouldn't have said that or may I, maybe I could have did it a different way. So I was always, whether I was a punching bag for her or punching bag for somebody else saying like, you know, you could do better or you don't have to stand for this. It, it was always a, a constant feeling of influx, never really, never able to really be able to sit and enjoy a moment because I never know how if this moment is going to turn a different way. And now like we in front of people and they're looking at, especially um, another situation where professionally I was somewhere and a situation happened and they was like, wait, if this happened between y'all two, how can we trust you to manage the this system or manage these people? Cause there, there were some opportunities I missed out uh, on as well um, because of that, that relationship, um, 